Hello, this is Default PvP with a new video, and it's my first video in a while, and this is a tutorial on how to drag click in Minecraft. So first, you want a good mouse, like an older Death Adder from Razer, or a Glorious Model O, which is what I have here. So, you have your button and then your finger, and you're trying to create friction with your finger on the button so that it clicks really quickly, like this. So practice going like this, or maybe on your mouse mat or whatever surface you have for your desk, go like that. And just practice going like that and do it very lightly. And so when you're on my your mouse, go just a bit harder and push down, like, just a bit. Okay, so this is a click speed test website, clickspeedtest.com, and this is my CPS, or my clicks. This is how many clicks I've done. So I'm going to start it, and I'm going to do this three times. Time number one. Twelve CPS, so that's pretty bad actually. Try number two. This one's a lot better. So nearly 20 CPS, so 18.4 CPS. And then my last try. Sixteen point eight CPS, so worse than before, but it's still a pretty good amount. Okay, so here I am in a single player world on Lunar Client, and in the top left hand corner is my CPS. So if I click, you should see my CPS going up. So this is drag clicking. And it doesn't show my right drag clicking. But with drag clicking, it's easier, a lot easier actually, to God Bridge and Breezily Bridge and all of the really fast bridging techniques. So, right here, demonstration. And I messed up. But with, if I didn't drag click, I probably couldn't get that far. So that was butterfly clicking, and unless your timing's amazing, it's nearly impossible to do it with regular clicking. So again, here's drag clicking. And I'm not very good at breezily bridging either, so. But you can see that drag clicking gives you a lot of an advantage when you're playing competitively. But keep this in mind as a warning, most servers will ban you for drag clicking because you're getting such high CPS, it's hard for them to tell whether you're hacking or not. So you could probably get away with it for like one or two games, but I wouldn't recommend you use it a lot. Thank you for watching. This is Default PVP, out.